Jerusalem artichokes. The other day I received a parcel from a great friend of mine in Spain and what was in it? Jerusalem artichokes tubers. Muchas gracias mi querida amiga. Thank you Goretti and Roy. So Jerusalem artichokes are also known as Sancho. Sometimes they're also known as Fartijo. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. However, they're part of the sunflower family and it's quite amazing. They can grow up to three meters tall and a massive bush. And then you've got beautiful yellow flowers on top. So it looks like a little sunflower, a mix in between a sunflower and a daisy. Just to make, imagine they're making love. And they're actually very, very good for you. Many people who, for example, don't like potatoes, use them as a substitute. If you can grow potatoes, you can grow Jerusalem artichoke. Jerusalem artichokes contain inulin, which is a type of prebiotic, and it has a shitload of it. It's really, really good for your, uh, for your gut bacteria. It doesn't get digested in the stomach. It goes into your gut and then your bacteria is breaking it down and create methane. And we know what that means. So obviously, if you have a hell of a lot of it, it could quite easily be that basically each step you take will be a fart. However, over time, you will build up a resistance to it. In my case, I'm a bag of gas as it is anyway, so it doesn't really make any damn difference, so I can eat it in any shape or form. And also, saying that, you can use it like potatoes. You can make mash out of it, you can make roast out of it, you can eat it like a water chestnut as well. So you can eat it raw, you can pickle it, there is you know, a multitude of ways how you can actually eat it. And they're prolific growers. If you don't want to have them everywhere in the garden, just keep them in a container. I'm going to plant mine in a container as well as in the garden because, I mean, let's face it, every single thing I've got in the garden, you know, is prolific growing anyway. So, you know, whether it's my running bamboo, whether it's all the other crap I have in the garden, anyway. So I'm going to plant them in a container as well as in the ground. The reason why they can take over, because when you actually dig them up, they're kind of like potatoes. So when you dig potatoes up, you've got the tubers on the bottom. But because of the fact that grow as many as they do, you will never get all the tubers. And obviously this is one of the things when people do that, then all of a sudden they thought they took all the tubers out, but they haven't. And all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. You've got those fuckers popping up all over the place. But if you look at this tuber, they're like potatoes. As long as you have an eye, one of these here, you can it will grow into a plant. So what you can do, you can take one tuber and you can make four or five out of them and then put them in the ground. And then obviously they will grow into individual plants. So I cut one earlier on and as you can see here, it has an eye there. And this tiny thing will grow into a big, nice plant. And obviously then it creates new tube tubers which you can eat or you can just leave in the ground because they are hardy. So armed with my tubers and here we go. So the bamboo here, that one is going to come out and I'm going to put a couple of tubers in there. Then I have another pot oh, do, 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 over here. I'm going to put a tuber in here. And then the other ones I'm going to put where I had sunflowers last year. And I had sunflowers all here last year, so I'm going to put the rest of the tubers there. So because they are prolific growers and they grow very, very quickly and quite large, they need a lot of water. So the soil in itself is okay. They're pretty much growing in every single kind of soil, but because of the tubers don't like sitting in water, much like canners, they don't like that either. So just make sure that there's not water logging in the soil in itself as well. And then, you know, feed them. I'm really bad when it comes to feeding my plants so i don't tend to feed them i just dump a lot of compost on it at the beginning and then i just let the plants get on with it but the thing is if you feel like that is they're not doing too well just a high nitrogen fertilizer will do just fine and also for example you can grow them in this sort of thing then you know you know you're going to get all the tubers out like i said like potatoes you know grow them in whatever you grow your potatoes in and the soil they prefer not the soil type, but they're like loose soil. So when you prepare the bed, let's like, so just fluff it all up, you know, go in there with a fork and just go, yeah. And then, I mean, you can add a little bit of fertilizer in that one as well when you do it. And then just let them get on with it. So I'm just going to put a couple of tubers into that pot. You dig them in 15 centimeters deep and round about 30 centimeters wide, you know, apart from each other. And the pot is 55 centimeters wide, so it should by all means be okay for a year. Also, because of the fact that they can grow up to three meters in height, make sure that there is a lot of weight in the bottom of the pot. 
This one has a lot of rocks on the bottom because obviously because the bamboo was going <laughs> so it never fell over. Just make sure that the pod you put them in is sturdy enough or heavy enough so that they don't get blown over, you know, with a little bit of wind. Use these two, put one there and one there. So just place them in their shallow grave and it's round about, it's 15 centimeters deep round about and then you just make sure that they're all nice and covered and the soil is really really loose here and this is what they like and now do the same thing with this one and as it is with everything you plant water them in really well so they're all watered in now i'm going to do the red pot and i'm going to do the other ones at the back and that's me for the day yes go out there and plant jerusalem artichokes they're fabulous plants first of all they're healthy they're tasty as well as the flowers are great for the bees and they look pretty sexy anyway so that's me for the day and obviously there's going to be updates on how they progress as there always is i shall talk to you guys later bye